Get ready to discover answers in the Bible with Bayless Conley. And as we look at the social setting here in our historical context, and you put that juxtaposed to our current social reality, I can't help but notice the similarity between the social separation, the division, and the discord that's going on even now in this moment in our nation. The racial, religious, political, and moral gap seems to be more contextualized, more contentious, and more fractured than has been in a long time. Things and people in our society are separated and they're fragmented. But I believe that the same answer and the same agent that brought healing in our text is in fact the same answer and the same agent that will bring healing in our present reality. Jesus. And the thought that I want to bring forth tonight is this. If Jesus brings people together, people that are on opposite sides of the social spectrum, if Jesus brings people together, then I need to bring people together. And I need to be an agent of healing in society. So the question becomes, how? What do we see Jesus do in this passage that we can model, we can put into application in our own lives? And let me just push the pause button there because I think there's a key in what I've just said. What can we put into practical application in our own lives? We have to understand this thing starts with personal responsibility, right? I have the responsibility and I have to take ownership of this. I realize the premise is Christ lives in me, therefore I represent Jesus in my world and in my sphere of influence, and I have been called to bring peace wherever I go. 